pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. with us today, um, President are all three commissioners, Attorney, Auditor Judy Reed, Mayor Ted Denton, and City Council. Um, today on our agenda is a suit of veteran ordinance. And As, as we say in the theater, could you please turn your cell phone? <laughs> no. Thank you, President Bolton. Uh, we're here today, uh, I believe this is the first time in the history of Fulton County slash Rochester that these two governing bodies have ever met in session together. And it's for the purpose of uh, passing two ordinances that are uh, common ordinances for county, one for city and uh, restricting sales of pseudo in our community. And as you all know, uh, the statistics have been horrendous for meth lab activity in Fulton County. Uh, Chief uh, and Sheriff, I believe we're number three in the state for activity. And our local citizens action committee, uh, led by Val Pipperton and eight other folks uh, are Councilman Marty Smith, one of them, have taken the action to see that uh, this figure changes. And it has led to uh, this legislation. So with that being said, I believe we're making history today because we will be the first in the state to do this, to act on this. Uh, Councilman Smith, would you uh, please read ordinance number 012016? I will, but I, I think we need a motion. I'm sorry, do I have or, a motion? I'll Thank make you. a motion to read ordinance number 1 2016. Second. I'll second it. In favor. Signified by 6 0. Okay, now, Councilman. Ordinance number 01 2016 an ordinance <coughs> to regulate the method and manner of sale of pseudo related products by pharmacies within the city of Rochester, Indiana. Whereas pseudoephedrine is the key ingredient in the illegal manufacture of methamphetamine, and without a source for pseudoephedrine, meta, meta, methamphetamine cannot effectively be illegally produced. And whereas, while there are quantity and time limitations imposed upon the sale of pseudoephedrine by state statute, there is currently no state regulation of the methods or manner of sale for pseudoephedrine. And whereas there are now readily available meth deterrent pseudoephedrine products that provide the decongestant performance of traditional pseudoephedrine products that significantly disrupt illicit methamphetamine production. And whereas the illicit production of methamphetamine in the city of Rochester is a significant public safety issue, has caused significant financial cost to the city, and is a clear and continuing danger to the health, welfare, and safety of Rochester residents. And whereas the regulation of the methods and manner of sale of pseudoephedrine as set forth herein has been successful in other jurisdictions in significantly reducing the illicit production of methamphetamine. Now therefore be it ordained by the Rochester Common Council that Section 1, pharmacist means an individual who is licensed as a pharmacist in Indiana under Indiana Code 25-26. Section 2, pharmacy means any facility, department, or other place where prescriptions are filled or compounded and are sold, dispensed, 
offered or displayed for sale, and which has as its principal purpose the dispensing of drug and health supplies intended for the general health, welfare, and safety of the public without placing any other activity on a more important level than the practice of pharmacy. Section 3. Except under a valid prescription, before dispensing a product containing ephedrine or pseudoephedrine, a pharmacist or pharmacy in the city of Rochester shall make a professional determination as to whether or not there is a legitimate medical and pharmaceutical need for the product containing ephedrine or pseudoephedrine. Section 4. The determination <coughs> of Section 3 may be based on factors including, without limitation, 1. Prior medication filling history, 2. Patient screening, and 3. Any other tools that provide professional reassurance to the pharmacist that a legitimate medical and pharmaceutical need exists. Section 5. Section 3 does not prohibit a pharmacist from dispensing a product containing ephedrine or pseudoephedrine to a person solely because the person A has not utilized the services of the pharmacist frequently or B has not established a pharmacist-patient relationship with the pharmacist before the instance of dispensing. Section 6. A pharmacist or pharmacy may dispense an ephedrine or pseudoephedrine product with designated methamphetamine deterrent capabilities without complying with the requirements of Section 3 and the dispensing of such a product will not continue to constitute a violation of this ordinance. Section 7. A pharmacist or pharmacy or both found to be in violation of this ordinance may be subject to a fine as permitted by Indiana Code 36-1-3-8A10 and 10.99 of the Code of Ordinances for the City of Rochester. Thank you. I'd like to open it up now for discussion. Comments about uh, Ordinance 01-2016. Okay. I'd make a motion for the second reading of ordinance number 1 2016 by title. Second. second that. All those in favor? Again, Councilman Smith, would you uh, would you do that, please? Ordinance number 01 2016, <laughs> an ordinance to regulate the method and manner of sale of pseudoephedrine related products by pharmacies within the city of Rochester, Indiana. Any motion regarding the third reading? I'd uh, make a motion that we suspend the rules and have the third reading of Ordinance 1 2016 by title only. Again, Councilman Paul. So, so. And second, Councilman Garrett. Those in favor? 6 0. Councilman Smith, again. Ordinance number 1 2016. <laughs> an ordinance to regulate the method and manner of sale of pseudoephedrine related products by pharmacies within the city of Rochester, Indiana. Do I have a motion regarding 01-2016? I make a motion that we adopt ordinance number 01-2016. Do I have a second? Second. We have a, a motion and a second to adopt uh, Ordinance 01-2016, uh, signified by show of hands, your support of this ordinance, 6-0. I'm happy to report that ordinance number 01-2016 has been passed. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Judy, what's our ordinance number on this? Ordinance number? Mm -hmm. 020116. Okay. okay, I have before me the ordinance, Colton County 
County Ordinance 0201-16, an ordinance to regulate the method and manner of sale of pseudofedrine related products by pharmacies within Fulton County, Indiana. Whereas pseudofedrine is the key ingredient in the illegal manufacture of methamphetamine, and without a source of pseudofedrine, methamphetamine cannot effectively be illegally produced. And whereas, while there are quantity and time limitations imposed upon the sale of pseudofedrin by state statutes. There is currently no state regulations of the methods or manner of sale for pseudofedrin. And whereas there are now readily available meth deterrent pseudofedrin products that provide the decongestive performance of traditional pseudofedrin products but significantly disrupt illicit methamphetamine production. And whereas the illicit production of methamphetamine in Fulton County is a significant public safety issue, has caused significant financial costs to the county, and is clear and continuing danger to the health, welfare, and safety of Fulton County residents. And whereas the regulation of the methods and manner of the sale of pseudofedrin, as set forth herein, has been successful in the jurisdiction in significantly reducing the illicit production of methamphetamine, now, therefore, be it ordained by the Fulton County Board of Commissioners that Section 1, pharmacist means an individual who is licensed as a pharmacist in Indiana under code, Indiana Code 25-26. Section 2, pharmacy means any facility, department, or other place where prescriptions are filled or compounded and are sold, dispensed, offered, and displayed for sale, and which has as its principal purpose, the dispensing of drug and health supplies intended for the general health, welfare, and safety of the public, without placing any other activity on more important level than the practice of pharmacy. Section three, except under a valid prescription before dispensing a product containing ephedrine or pseudephedrine, a pharmacist or pharmacy in the Fulton County shall make a professional determination as to whether or not there is a legitimate medical or and pharmaceutical need for the product containing ephedrine or pseudofedrin. Section four, the determination under section three may be based on factors including without limitation, one, prior medication filling history, two, patient screening, and three, any other tools that provide professional reassurance to the pharmacist that a legitimate medical and pharmaceutical need exists. Section five, section three does not prohibit a pharmacist from dispensing a product containing ephedrine or pseudephedrine to a person solely because the person A, has not utilized the services of the pharmacist frequently, or B, has not established a pharmacist-patient relationship with the pharmacist before the, instance of dispensing. Section six, a pharmacist or pharmacy may dispense an ephedrine or pseudephedrine product with designated methamphetamine deterrent capabilities without complying with the requirements of section three. And the dispensing of such a product will not constitute a violation of this ordinance. Section seven, a pharmacist or pharmacy or both found to be in violation of this ordinance may be subject to a fine as permitted by IC code 36-1-38A10. And that is the first reading of the ordinance. Is there any comments, questions? Lord, is there any comments? I will... Um, Entertain motion men to suspend the rulings and go to the, the second reading by title only. So moved. Second. All in favor? Fulton County Ordinance Number 020116, an ordinance to regulate the method and manner of sale of pseudofedrin related products by pharmacies within Fulton County, Indiana. <coughs> Second. All in favor? <coughs> County Ordinance Number 020116, an ordinance to regulate the method and manner of sale of pseudofedrine related products by pharmacies within Fulton County, Indiana. Any other comments, questions? 
you. I'll entertain a motion to approve the ordinance as presented. So good. Second. All in favor. <coughs> ordinance passed. Thank you. short recess that way anybody who needs to leave is welcome to leave or you may stay before we recess if okay. i if i might sure. president i'd like to thank the county for meeting in, in unity with the city today again this is historical thank you very much well, we thank you Dad, hopefully we can work together another do we need a motion to adjourn yes we need a motion to adjourn <laughs> so moved second second mm -hmm. Mr. James, all, baby. Just a minute.